Cancer. Hey Cancer, welcome back to my channel. And this is a week ahead reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or wherever you have a heavy Cancer placement. Cancer, keep in mind this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with every single Cancer out there. We have you get the best of me. So right off the bat, I'm feeling that this is coming across as a statement, okay? Your person is letting you know that you get the best of them, okay? It's almost as if they're saying, you only get the best version of me. What I'm picking up here, Divine Feminine, is your person has been doing a lot of healing. Your person is actually striving for their best version because they are at a place right now where they actually know that they can have it and they feel that they deserve it. I'm getting that when you came into your person's life, you saw their best version from the beginning. And as you continue to go on the journey with them, I feel like your person may have fell short a couple times. For some of you, many, many times. But you have always spoke to that divine masculine. Not their masculine, the divine masculine within them. And because you were able to see through everything that they presented you, it's almost as if your person is letting you know, I'm going through all of these strides in my life. I'm making these changes in my life because you are the person that deserves to get the best version of me, if anyone. So it's almost as if your person is letting you know that they are putting in this work and they don't want you to feel like this connection is in vain. They don't want you to feel like your love is in vain, okay? They don't want you to feel like you've been waiting in vain either. So your person is letting you know that you are their end game. You are the goal here. I'm almost getting this image of a divine masculine like walking down a path and it's like there's so much stuff on the path and they have to like move things out their way to get to you. It's like you are literally the light at the end of the tunnel. And the work that they are putting in spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, I'm getting especially, especially emotionally, okay? They've had a lot of healing to do. But when your person thinks about their greatest version, when they think about them ascending, when they think about them being in just an ultimate state of peace and abundance, they see you beside them. Their best version with you. So it's like they're telling you, like, you're the one who's going to get my best version. I'm not doing all of this. I'm not healing. I'm not ascending. You know, I'm not going through this journey to be with someone else. I'm going through this journey and I'm healing to be with the person who saw this version in me from day one. Wow. Yeah, your person is definitely showing up extremely bold today. The next message we have here is, you have a decision to make. Okay, I just got past and future. So, wow, and I just heard challenge. So, what I'm getting here with this energy is that Divine Feminine, you're at a place right now where you are so open and willing to take this connection to the next level, but you also have some doubt. And your doubt is valid, okay? Because you've been through so many ups and downs with your person here. But now it's almost as if this, this masculine energy is challenging you to leave the past in the past and to see them with a fresh set of eyes. I feel like that's the decision that they want you to make. They're saying you have a decision here. We've been through this journey. We've been through the ups and downs. We've been in our shadow sides. Our shadow sides have, you know, damn near destroyed each other. And now we're ascending. And now we're raising. And now we're in this higher vibration. Now we're on this higher octave of love now. Are you still open? Are you still willing to see me at my greatest version? You've seen me at my lowest. You've seen me in my shadow. You've seen me running. But are you ready to see me show up as the person that you've always known that I was here? 
Yeah, your person is definitely coming through really, really bold. This energy is extremely beautiful. I'm getting pride as well. Your person it has really grown and they have a sense of pride about where they are now on their journey, okay? And it's like they want to show this to you. It's like they kind of want to show up and they want you to be proud of their journey. It's like they went through all of this to come back to you and present themselves and say, look, you know, all of this was not in vain here. Wow. <laughs> wow. The next message we have is, are you ready for this? Yes, your person is extremely excited. Okay, so this is giving me the impression that your person has really, really started to see their inner work manifest in their external world here. Okay, so your person is extremely excited about where this connection is headed. They're excited about the changes that they've made. And it's like they want to impress you. Yes, that's the word I'm looking for, impress. They're like, are you ready for this? Okay, you're getting the best version of me. I'm going through all of these changes. I'm healing. I'm ascending. I'm doing all of these things to get to you, Divine Feminine. So you have a decision to make. Do you still see me as my unevolved version? Or are you willing to let that go and put on a fresh set of eyes and see me as your divine masculine? Not your masculine who's in a lower energy. Not your masculine who was operating in imposter, sy imposter syndrome, who didn't feel as if they deserve love who felt like an imposter in love, but as a divine masculine, showing up as a healed version of myself. Yeah, your person is definitely bold. It's kind of like um, you being the catalyst for their spiritual journey, them actually accepting the lessons, them going within, them healing, and then them coming back to you, okay? It's like they are so excited about the changes that they've made in their lives and they want you to be excited about it too. They're like, are you ready for this? Are you ready for us to like take over the world and have this beautiful, beautiful, high vibrational love? Are you ready to fulfill purpose? Okay, this is beautiful energy today. If you had any doubts about your divine masculine shifting, okay, they are definitely putting in work, okay? And it's like they want you to feel their energy. They want you to feel their excitement and their pride that they have around your love and around this connection and just around themselves right now. Some of them were in a position where they really didn't believe that this was possible, okay? They have completely shifted from viewing the world through the lens of limitation to viewing the world through a lens of abundance. And they really, really believe that whatever they set their hearts on, they can have. And they want you. It's like all of this makes sense now. All of this comes full circle and it's coming right back to you, Divine Feminine, because you are the center of their universe, like literally. The next message we have here is Tell me how you feel. I'm picking up with this energy here that your person really, really wants to know what it is that you want from them. It's kind of, I don't know why I just got, how can I serve you? Your person is really coming to you like in a position of surrender, knowing the sacrifices that you've made for this connection, wanting to kind of fill that space with, with, with this love that they have come into with this respect, with this honor for who you are and the position that you hold in their life, Divine Feminine. I feel like you're at a position right now where you love your Divine Masculine so much, but there has been a change in the way that you communicate with them. I kept getting this surface energy. It's like you're able to express yourself, you're able to talk to them, but you don't go as deep with them anymore. I'm getting that in the beginning, you were so open, you were so optimistic about this love, about this journey. And as you were met with your person's shadow, it's almost as if you, you didn't feel safe 
you know, to be who you originally were with your person. So you kind of shied away from going deep, deep into topics because your person didn't make you feel as if he was a safe space or they were a safe space, okay, for you to communicate effortlessly and really flow from your heart space. Now your person is saying, no, I, I want you to open up to me. I want you to go back to those to those moments where you know you felt safe to love. It felt safe and it felt good. This is what your person wants for you. They really, really want to have open, clear, authentic communication here. No judgment, no barriers, no holding back because this is where they are now. I'm even getting for some of you, they wanna talk about this connection from beginning to the end. I feel the feminine energy being in this place where you were able to communicate how it felt, you know, the fireworks, the intensity, the passion. Some of you haven't gotten that confirmation from your person. Your person is ready, okay, to speak about everything because they felt it too. But some of them were very fearful of these emotions. Some of them stuffed these emotions down. Some of them didn't address these emotions. Now it's almost as if they want to go back over your, your entire journey and, you know, talk about things like, remember this day when, you know, you looked at me and I felt this or you said that. It's, it's like they really, really want to have deep, deep, stimulating communication with you at this time. Wow. The next message we have here is, I'm seeing signs everywhere. Yes, your person is extremely um, open right now. And the universe is communicating with your person because your person has went from a place, they've evolved from a place where they were closed off to this energy to now they are open. And signs present themselves to people who are ready to see them because there's signs all around us every single day but if you're not awakened to them you're not able to see them now your person is seeing everything okay they wake up in the morning and the sun is shining and they're happy and they go outside and they may see a synchronicity here a synchronicity there they hear a song they're open their antennas are up right now because they have their heart space open and they're ready to receive they have moved whatever these, these limitations were, whatever these energies were that were taking place and that were, that were um, kind of guarding their heart now. They freed up this space, so now they have the opportunity to let more love in. And your person is feeling, I just keep getting a really, really exciting energy where it's like everything that you said is like making sense now. I'm feeling divine feminine. You are extremely like you're such an optimist, okay? And your person could have looked at you like you were maybe a little crazy, you know, because you're just extremely optimistic and you just like to see the um see the good in everything. So this is how you would normally look at life here. And your person may have felt like, okay, well, it's not that serious or because they weren't really awakened to this journey now. Now that they have awakened, they see life totally different. The smallest things make them smile or make them happy. You know what I mean? It's like they're seeing signs everywhere. But remember, signs only present themselves to those who are aware and those who are ready and willing to accept them. So there's definitely major shifts happening right now. Your person has awakened to a whole new world. It's like they finally are at a place where um, they just see the world through love. They have, they're seeing abundance everywhere. They realize that there is no limitation as it pertains to, you know, what it is that they can have and how it is that they are manifesting the desires of their hearts. The only limitations that they had existed in their minds. So now they're seeing the signs everywhere. It's like a whole, it's literally a whole new world for them here. And they are searching for you. It's like they want you to be a part of it now. They're like, now that I'm here, I'm elevating, I'm, you know, doing my inner work. And the more inner work that I do, I'm starting to see it manifest in my external world. I want you to get the best of me. I want you to get this best version of me here. Your person has a lot of pride 
okay? They are extremely happy with, with the changes that they've made in their lives and they want to share that with you. They're not putting in these changes to go be with somebody else. The whole point of them elevating and you know, becoming their greatest version is so that they can be beside you, okay? I'm feeling big, like, emperor energy here. Your person has arrived, Divine Feminine. Wow. The last message we have is, wow, Divine Timing. Yes. Your person is aware of how everything took place, how everything happened exactly as it should happen, how there are no mistakes as it pertains to life, as it pertains to love, okay? They are realizing that they couldn't give you the best of them in the past because they were not awakened, okay? They are now looking back and saying, wow, this entire time, my divine feminine was trying to open me up to this new world. This is what I was missing out on. I kept running back to my past. I kept running back to all of these old things. And now that I'm here and I've started to trust divine timing and I've started to go within and focus on my emotions and really try to navigate how I was feeling instead of escaping it, this is the reward. Yeah, your person is feeling extremely just amazing right now. Their world looks totally different to them. Totally different to them. And all it took was a shift of the mindset. This is the result of a seed that you have planted, Divine Feminine. It is definitely beginning to grow here. And your person is trusting the timing of everything. More importantly, I just heard waiting well okay so there's something here about things happening behind the scenes here there's like a a higher power putting things behind the scene here and i feel like when you guys used to be away from each other there used to be this this um there was waiting but the waiting was riddled with fear it was riddled with doubt i feel like you both are at a place where you're learning how to wait with love you're learning how to hold space with love. So you are trusting divine timing right now, but it's the way in which you're trusting divine timing. You both have absolute confidence that this is going to come together. Your person is feeling extremely confident, extremely bold, okay? Because now they're getting a taste of your world, divine feminine, and they absolutely love it here. Okay, so that is the message that I have for you today. If you resonated with this message, be sure to hit the like button on the way out and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.